hi guys welcome to my channel welcome to a new video and in this video i'll be doing an unboxing of my boxycharm box for the month of april as well as a short little tutorial for you guys using the products so if you're interested in it just keep on watching hi guys so i'm going to start off with my skin my foundation routine and since i've done my foundation routine in like every video i'm not really going to talk through this one i'll just tell you guys the products i'm using i didn't moisturize so i'm going to use my mario badescu skincare facial spray and then i'm going to go in with my fenty pro filter instant retouch primer and on top of that i'm going to go in with fenty soft matte longwear foundation and this is in the shade 440 highlight and contour I'm going to go in with the Colourpop no filter concealer and this is in the shade deep golden 60 this is from the first line of uh, concealers they released I know they've changed the shade names say, uh, since the second release so this is from the first one I'm not sure what it's called in the second the second set To set my highlighted areas, I'm going to go in with my Sasha Buttercup setting powder. And for all over face powder, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. And to bronze, I'm going to go in with my CoverGirl Ebony Bronzer. Okay, so now that we have the base done, we can go into what I got in my box charm for April. So they changed the pamphlet that we get, that we now get. Uh, it's now like a, a long page type thing. And the theme this month was eye candy. And our offers are at the back, like 10% off tarot.com and a VIP offer from Dr. Brand. So that's that and it gives the list of products we got in the box. So only in the box, you know, I went through packaging and stuff already so I'm not going to go through that in this video. If you'd like to see my experience with BoxyCharm, I'll leave that video linked in the iCard section right here. Alright, so moving, moving on. The first thing I see in the box is the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Vacuum Cleaner and this is for $47 and this is a pore purifying mask which is awesome because I know Dr. Brandt is a really good brand and I love skincare so I'm looking forward to using this I haven't tried it as yet the next thing I'm seeing is the Brogal by Tonya, Tonya Crooks and this the cost for this is $22 and it is a tinted eyebrow gel with microfibers to achieve a natural hair look perfect for the customer who wants a quick but natural feel to their brows so since I don't have my brows done I'm going to use this product 
and let me just peel it back light hair number three I don't think this I don't think this will work for me but let me just test it out and see should I fill in my brows first and then use this or this is in the shade light hair number three I think this will be too definitely too light for my brows but I just need to still give it a try and see what this product is all about So this shade is not for me. Guys, I kind of low-key like how this thing works, but it's just the wrong shade. It's the wrong shade, but I kind of like it because my brows are like set. They're not moving up all over the place. So yeah, I like that product, but just, just the wrong shade. The next thing I've seen is the Tarte's Pro Glow from Tarte cosmetics this is in the shade stunner and it's a liquid highlighter so I'll save this for when I'm highlighting my face the next thing I'm seeing is a high definition liquid lipstick from Addis oh I didn't tell you the cost of this the cost of the tart is $29 so this product now High definition liquid lipstick from Adis New York. The cost of this is $24. It's like a mauve nude and it's a liquid lipstick. This is a shade. Let me just do a swatch. And the last thing is the My Little Pony Pressed Powder Shadow Palette from Colourpop Cosmetics and this is what it looks like so this is the palette I'm going to use today to do my eyeshadow and the cost of this is $16 so this is actually cheapest, the cheapest um, product in my box charm box so I'll put a total right here guys you guys can also consider this like a first impression because I've never used the pressed eyeshadow so but I legit want this to be a look like I want it to look nice so I have backups. I have my Saharan 2 and my Zulu palette from Juvia's Place just in case like it's not working out. The names are at the back. So I'm going to start off with Flutterby. Now that we have that, I'm going to go in with a Sky Dancer. This hair, I'm going to go in with Sky Dancer and just put that directly in my crease. So we have this. But I think I want to deepen the crease just a tad bit more. So I'm going to go into my Zulu palette and I'm going to take the purple shade and just put that right in my crease and a little bit on my outer lid. This purple right here. And the Zulu palette shades do not have names. So it's just the purple. It's the only purple in the palette, so it's just the purple. Back into the My Little Pony palette, I'm going to use this shade, it's called Firefly. Besides that, I'm going to go in with this shade, and this is called Twilight. to go back in with the first the first uh, shadows and just blend it over the darker color just to 
get that transition. From the same ColourPop palette, I'm going to go in with this shade and it's called Blossom and I'm just going to put this on my brow bone. And it's like a true gold, so I'm just going to use a little bit. Get in with the fluffy brush and just blend that. And I'm going to put the same gold in my inner corner. I think I might mix it with the rose gold beside it, this shade, which is called Starshine. I might just put a little bit of that. For glow, I'm going to go in with the Tarteast Pro Glow Liquid Highlighter. I showed you guys this earlier. And I just going to put a dot because this thing looks pigmented AF. Seems like I need to move fast with this one. Okay, so I lined my lip. Personally, this isn't me. This is this this lippy. Mm -mm. So I'm going to add my Fenty Gloss Balm on top of that. I don't like how I don't like the texture of of this lippy. It's thick and sticky. So no. So guys, this is the final look using all the products from my boxy charm box. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're interested in getting your own boxy charm box, I will leave the link down in my description box below, and you can use that to make your purchase. So again guys, thank you so much for liking, subscribing, commenting and staying here. And remember, if you haven't yet, click the notification bell, that's a little bell beside the subscribe button. And I will definitely catch you guys in my next video. Bye!